Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite fall lip products. I did not include lip pencils and that sort of thing just because you know lip, lip pencils are covered so unless you're just going to top it with a clear gloss I didn't really want to include that just because I have a lot to share and that would just add extra time to the video. So we're going to start with like lip like lip balms or chapsticks from chubby pencils to lip glosses and into the lipsticks. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. This is so much fun. Okay, we're going to start with um, like lip balms and chapsticks and that sort of thing. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, and I will do lip swatches as well as like a hand swatch, um, just so you can kind of get the idea. But we're going to start with the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer, uh, Lip Shimmer, what is this, like a chapstick thing? And this is in the shade Merlot. So it looks like this in the tube. Here's a little swatchy. So it is kind of like your bright berry color. I wouldn't necessarily call this like a Merlot. It's definitely like a bright berry type of shade and it's really light you know chapstick balm type of feel so let's go ahead and uh, apply this so if you just want a nice wash of really pigmented color I would say go for this and it has a peppermint smell as well as taste so You don't really need a whole lot of this. Uh, for a chapstick, it is definitely very, very opaque. It's sheer, but as you can see, there is a lot of color going on with this chapstick, and I really, really like it. I get my uh, Burt's Bees lip products from Cracker Barrel. I have quite a few. I've even got some like hand creams and cuticle creams and things like that from Cracker Barrel. So the next time you go, don't skip out on the country store because you'll be surprised on what you can find in there. All right, so that is the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Merlot. That chapstick from Burt's Bees really left my mouth feeling minty and almost like I just brushed my teeth. Like it has that minty taste and everything. So it'd be good for like an after dinner top because you know it would probably mask a little bit of smell and that sort of thing and it feels great. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about is from Clinique, and it's in the shade Black Honey. And I don't know, like, if there's a certain line to this product. Um, it looks like this. Um, it just, you know, it doesn't say anything other than who it's from and what the name is. So this is what it looks like in the tube. It looks very, almost black, but it's very, very sheer, as you can see. A lot more sheer than the last one, but it has a you know more of a brown undertone and I mean as dark as it looks it doesn't have a lot of color payoff but it is great for fall if you want just a light wash of color and it's very moisturizing as well so let's go ahead and apply this to the lips it doesn't have a scent which that's fine. I actually like the minty smelling ones. A lot of people don't, but I do. I prefer the mint over like the vanilla smell any day. So that's what it looks like on the lips. Okay, now we're gonna do like chubby sticks or lip pencils or that sort of thing. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is by Jordana. And this is the Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. So I don't want to leave it on for too long, but it looks like that. And this is in the shade Cranberry Crush. So this is just a twist up type of pencil. That's what it looks like in the tube. And let's give you a hand swatch here. So as you can see, it's just a cranberry berry type of shade. Very pretty, very moisturizing. I love this. I use it all the time. And let's go ahead and give you um, a peek on what it looks like on the lips. I really like these chubby pencils or chubby sticks or whatever you want to call them because it's kind of like a, a lip liner and lipstick all in one because of the shape of the product. So you can't go wrong with uh, any type of chubby stick or whatever you want to call it. 
This has a real like fruity type of scent to it so as you can see this is a great fall shade very very moisturizing and it just feels really good and sleek smooth silky on the lips and that is the Jordana Cranberry Crush. Next up we're going to talk about the NYC City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color. That's a mouthful. This is in the shade 52 Roosevelt Island Red. So it looks like this in the tube. Here's your hand swatch. And I did a whole review on these lip pencils from NYC, so I will link that in the description box if you want to check it out. I think I bought like six or seven different shades just to give you an idea of, you know, light to dark on what you get color payoff wise from these little chubby sticks from NYC. So now that you've seen the hand swatch, let's go ahead and apply it to the lips. This has more of a brown undertone. And I swear these smell just like bubble gum. They smell really, really good. Very sheer, but a really nice color um, to them and really, really moisturizing. So, you know, during the fall, is, you, the wind gets a little chillier and you know the cold weather tends to bring dry skin chapped lips and that sort of thing so to really moisturize your mouth and give you a nice pop of color i think these are great so again this is nyc city proof twistable intense lip color in roosevelt island red now we're going to talk about some lip butters these are by revlon everybody knows what the revlon lip butters are this one is in the shade fig jam and on the sticker it has a really nice brown undertone and it is definitely a more on the brown side but I love these type of shades for fall because they're really neutral with a you know a nice splash of color and my lips are starting to look a little pink but here's your hand swatch here so they're very light just like a bomb or a chapstick with a nice pop of color so let's go ahead and apply this one to the lips I love how the lip butters feel. They are so silky and moisturizing and I just love them. And there are so many colors to choose from. You will definitely find a shade that's right for you in the lip butter um, collection. Okay, so that is what the Fig Jam looks like on the lips two glosses that I wanted to share obviously I could have pulled out more but I just wanted to give you guys an example of a few things from a few different categories so the two um, lip glosses I have the first one is by cargo and this is just the lip gloss in the shade Morocco so it looks like that and it just has a doe foot applicator um, like so and let's give you a hand swatch here Hang on. And these are very sheer as well, but you know, like I said, for the fall, it's just a nice wash of color, or you can top it on top of a lipstick. So that's your hand swatch, and let's see what it looks like on the lips. More on the sparkly side. This has a very slight scent, but it's nothing that is offensive at all. This is definitely on the sheer side, so if you wear it alone, it'll just give you a nice color or you can top it on, you know, a darker lipstick and it'll look really pretty because it's sparkly. It has a slight gritty feeling, but nothing that's overwhelming or that would be irritating throughout the day. So um, again, that is Morocco by Cargo. Last gloss that I'm going to talk about is by Rimmel and it's the Stay Glossy 6 Hour Last and Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Timeless Allure. 
looks like that in the tube looks ooh. it's got a longer style doe foot applicator as you can see and this one is a lot darker than the last one so here's your swatch right here so it is sheer but very pigmented and it is slightly shimmery but it's not as shimmery as the last one so you probably won't feel this as much on the lips so this is a really nice color that you can wear on its own um, just because of the shade as you can see it's got that really deep kind of cranberry type of color you know and these are products that you don't have to wear um, a lip liner with I, I very rarely use a lip liner um, if I do it's because I really I want a really really super defined lip type of look but day to day you don't really need a lip liner unless you have problems with bleeding and that sort of thing uh, feathering into your lip lines but these can be worn on their own and I do like the um, Rimmel applicators just because they are a little bit longer so they really apply around the contour of your lip the shape of your lip and that sort of thing really nicely so again that is the Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in Timeless Allure now I'm going to talk about some of the lipsticks and um, I brought a really wide selection of what I consider great for fall shades I've got some really nice nudes to more of the darker side of pinks um, on up to the very 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 dark vampy type of lips so we'll start off with some of the nude and lighter shades of the dark lips and move our way on up to the darkest so first I'm going to talk about some of the nudes that I brought for fall and I have to mention this because it's my absolute favorite nude shade and it's the L'Oreal um, Collection Preve by JLo the packaging looks like this looks like this in the tube and it's got even though it's a nude shade it's got some pigment to it which I really really like and paired with a you know berry type of lip liner this pairs really really nice so that's the swatch there and let's go ahead and apply it to the lips I just really really like this one for fall especially when you're doing like a really really deep I look you know do a dark lip liner and then pair it with this and it's great it goes with all lip liners I love it I've created so many really beautiful combinations with this lipstick it's got just enough pigment to wear on its own but I really think it's best when applied with a lip liner so and it smells really really nice it has a real pretty just feminine smell to it I can't describe it so that's that and that is that Jennifer's Nude by JLo next up we're going to talk about another um, this is Rimmel and this is in the shade Berry Rose number 500 so this is in the purple kind of metallic packaging and it's a kind of like a mauvey rose type of shade and it's very pretty let's see let's do a top hand swatch so this is it here on the top and I think these mauvey rose um, shades are great for fall again if you don't like the really really dark lipstick shades so very very smooth has a really light scent to it pretty on its own or paired with a lip gloss so again that is number 500 berry rose and it's the moisture renew line so that's that on the top and it really is moisturizing it's very very it almost feels like a bomb so that's that okay, next we're going to talk about this NYC expert last New York City blah blah not New York City New York color um, this is in the shade Bury Me, number 442. So it's in this packaging here. Looks like this. 
in the tube. I did a review on this line as well, so I will link that down below if you want to check it out. So it's this shade right here. It's very, very pretty. Really opaque, but at the same time, it feels like a bomb. So, you know, they say it's a long-lasting lip color. I don't really wear these for a long period of time. These smell like bubble gum. They smell like a fruity gum. It smells great. They apply really, really smooth. And I mean, for $1.99, you can't beat it. It's got great coverage, chapstick type of feel, and it's just great. So that is Bury Me by NYC. got this CoverGirl, um, what line is this? This is the, this is the, I don't know, but it's the one that comes in this bronzy metallic kind of packaging with clear on the bottom so you can see the shade. And this is in 320 Soulmate. So it looks like that. Here's your swatch. So it's kind of like a berry rose type of shade, kind of on the mauve side very smooth when applying it again a lot of these colors you don't need a lip liner they are great on their own but of course if you're trying to make it last all day and that sort of thing or kind of change the color a little bit it's always great to apply but these are really really moisturizing they're very silky and feel um, again this is soulmate by covergirl have one of these liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. I don't remember what this line is called. Somebody correct me um, or somebody inform me in the uh, in the comment section below because I can't remember but it's by L'Oreal and this is in the shade Dancing Rose number 104 and this has one of those doe foot applicators that's kind of like teardrop shaped and I really really like this so you know again if you don't like the really really dark vampy type of lip for fall this is great because it's not pink pink if you know what I'm saying it's more on the mauve side which is actually kind of trendy right now so you know this is great so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lips This has a really, really very sweet smell to it, but it feels great when applying it, and I just love it. Okay, there's Dancing Rose by L'Oreal. So now we're gonna play with a little bit more darker. Ouch. A little bit more darker shades more of the berry wine uh, vampy type of looks and let's start with this one by Revlon I think I talked about this one before um, it's in the black packaging it looks like this and this is in the shade plum velour number 850 so it looks like this in the tube it's kind of that I don't know how to describe it. it's kind of like a brick type of shade it's got the brown undertones but still kind of berry like at the same time it's definitely plummy I would definitely give it that so that's it there very pretty cream finish they don't really have a scent to them these are very very smooth on application Again, nice on its own or paired with a liner. Most of the ones that I'm showing you are really nice on their own. So again, that is Plum Velour by Revlon. So that's that there. And that's on the lips. Another one by Revlon in the same collection in the black tube with the gold um, on the middle. This is in the shade Black Cherry. So it's just a really dark Merlot Cabernet type of shade. Let's see. I'll put this one right here. I really really like this one. It's got like a semi 
it's not matte but it's not as glossy as it's coming off when it dries a little bit it's not as shiny well, I mean it is but it's definitely not matte I don't know what I'm saying anyway let's give you a lip swatch I really really like these type of shades in the fall Okay, so that is Black Cherry by Revlon, and I'm sorry if you can hear any type of noise in the background, but my family is in the other room. So, Black Cherry, I really like this shade. It's one of my favorites in the fall. Fall time. And it's in the gold packaging with the clear bottom, and this is in the shade Sangria. So it's very similar to the Black Cherry shade, but more on the purpley side. So I'll swatch it right next to it so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is a matte shade, so there isn't much shine to this one at all. So as you can see, it's more on the pinky purple side than on the dark burgundy type of shade. So let's go ahead and apply it to the lips. And you know, because this is a matte shade, you might want to moisturize your mouth beforehand. Otherwise, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to apply is basically what I'm saying. I love this color. And one thing you want to be careful about, especially when you're wearing a dark lip, is to make sure that you remove the lipstick from the inner part of your mouth. Otherwise, you'll be wearing lipstick on your teeth. And that ain't cute. So I know this isn't the perfect application, but you know yeah no this is the for the sake of the video this is as good as it's gonna get all right so this is sangria and it has a really sweet smell to it from uh, Milani you can see my lips are starting to look a little bit more on the red side that's why I started with the uh oh with the light shades first just because I didn't um, want to try to apply a light shade after a dark shade and it would just mess up the color but anyway this is another one by Ulta this is in the gray tube with the you know complete packaging it's not clear on the top and this is in the shade good year for wine so this is a really dark wine type of shade here it is swatched let me turn my hand so you can see so it's very similar to um, this one over here just not as dark but still pretty nonetheless this applies really really smooth and it almost has like this this does have that lipstick smell if you know what I'm saying uh, like what your mama's lipstick used to smell like way back in the day but this has kind of like a metallic sheen to it I don't know how to explain it but I love this color. So again, this is by Ulta and it's in the shade Goodyear for Wine. This stuff is by Makeup Forever and it's in the shade Rouge Artist Natural. I don't think that's the name of the color. It's in the shade N9. So this is one that I got as my birthday gift from Sephora. So the shade looks like this. It's more on the brown type of shade. So let me give you a swatch. It is sheer, but it is very opaque at the same time. So that's that here. It's kind of that Kylie Jenner type of look, but not matte, if that makes any sense. So this is like that 90s look that everybody's going for right now because it is more on the brown side so I think Sephora knew what they were doing when they handed these out to everybody uh, they knew this was going to be a big trend coming up so and this is 
one of those shades that I think will, will look great on anyone, any skin tone and that sort of thing. Uh, super moisturizing. It really, really feels like a bomb. It has a slight scent to it, but nothing horrible, and I really like it. So that's Makeup Forever N9. Fun, right? It is by Wet n Wild. This is the Fergie collection, and it's in Divinely Chilled. So it looks like this. It's kind of like that one from Ulta with that kind of metallic finish to it. So let's swatch it right here. So there it is swatched on my hand. And let's do a lip swatch. I'm trying to blow through these really quick. I know it seems like I have a lot of shades to share with you, but I wanted to give you choices so you could see that you don't have to do just, you know, deep reds or plums or berries. There's, you know, light shades on the nude side that are great for fall as far as like bombs and glosses. I mean there is a variety of colors to choose from that are perfect for fall and you know that way you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Sometimes it looks different on the hand so that's why I'm doing it on the lips as well. So that's why the video is taking forever but I wanted to share this with you guys because I mean who doesn't like to play with lipstick? So this is very very similar <clears throat> To that Ulta shade that I showed you, uh, what was it, Goodyear for Wine? So it's more on the plum side. And it has that kind of metallic finish. So that is that. This is by the brand Avon, and this is in Ravishing Red but it's a very deep kind of red. It's coming off brighter on camera than it is sitting here in this chair, but it is a deep shade of red, very, very glossy, very smooth, and it has a fruity smell to it. But you know, if you wanted to go more on the red side, I think this is great because even though it's coming off really bright and like light red on camera, at least it looks like that in my viewfinder, it's really deep um, in person, but it, at the same time, it's got that really, really nice berry shade that everyone likes in the fall. So that is this that. NYC, and this is just one of their regular lipsticks like that, and this is in the shade Mahogany. So it's a really, really deep shade swatch it right here it's a little more on the sheer side but at the same time very opaque and it's got the brown undertones but at the same time is very very pretty as you can see it kind of has like that brown berry type of shade uh, really really moisturizing it's very smooth and silky. It has a really, really slight uh, scent. I can't really pick up what it is. It's nothing that's bad or anything like that. So that is Mahogany by NYC. <clears throat> this is one of those. Actually, the next two that I'm about to show you are these CoverGirl double-ended um, lipsticks that look like that. And this is in the shade Flashy. And I'm going to use the dark side. As you can see, this one is light and this one is dark. So the dark side of this is a great plum, purpley type of shade. Great for fall. And, you know, these lipsticks are made to wear each side on their own or mix and match, do an ombre, or just change the color all together. So, um, did I give you a swatch? I probably didn't. So this is it swatched on my hand right there. As you can see, it's like a purpley plum type of shade. And this is one of those ones that have like a 
uh, metallic finish kind of it's hard to describe that I mean I don't want you to think like I'm wearing foil on my lips but you almost have to just see it in person to know what I'm talking about so um, that is flashy by covergirl almost done all right, the next one is, like I said, another one by CoverGirl, the double, they're the blast flip stick is what they're called. This is in Glimmer, and again, I'm using the dark side of the lipstick. So it's similar to the other one, but this is more on the mauve berry side, whereas the other one was more on the purpley side. So definitely not as dark as the last one sweet scent to it uh, my application is getting sloppier and sloppier with each one so uh, that is glimmer by covergirl I really really hope you all enjoyed this video like I said I know it took a long time but at the same time, I hope you all got some ideas. Maybe this video was helpful to kind of give you a suggestion on maybe what you want to pick up the next time you're out shopping for a lipstick for the fall. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these a gazillion lipsticks that I showed you was your favorite. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.